Oh, good evening. Welcome. This is Simply Tasteful Dining. We are live right now. We're going to try one of these broadcasts here. There's a little music in the background. And tonight, we're going to be very, very simple, very, very easy. We're going to do seared chicken. We've got some artichoke here, artichoke parts here. A little bit of onion, chimichurri sauce. I've got potatoes, roasted potatoes. We're going to do with some onions. Okay, I've got chicken here. And then we've got a spaghetti squash, which we're going to start. Okay, so I got it over here. Okay, spaghetti squash. So we're going to try to do everything right here. If you notice, we've got the chicken. We're going to go here. We're going to butcher that, but that's going to take a last. Okay, so we're going to work. We're going to work right through. Okay, I've got my chicken knife here. There you go. Steal my blade. So we're good here. Okay. All right, and you're going to see a little cameo by Hunter the dog. He just waits for food to drop. Okay? So, if you've never done spaghetti squash before, it's really simple. Okay? It's pretty big. There's only two of us, so we're cooking just for two. So, okay, with him and the cat, four, but not really. So, the best thing to do if you're not going to use the whole product is to cut it anyway. You can freeze it and you can blanch it into it. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half first. Okay. Hand up. Be careful. Okay. So we're going to scoop it out. And if you know me by now, I try to save everything. I got a garden in the back. We're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some, some squash. We just mix them together and see whatever we got. So that's a good thing. Okay. So, again, we are live, so what you're seeing is what you're getting, okay? So, here we go. So we're going to take our seeds out, we cut it in half, and just take our seeds out. Okay, if you're not going to use the whole squash, still take the seeds out, because once you cut the surface, then it starts... I want to say breaking down, it's not the right word, but it's, it will go back quicker, okay, then you can just hold. Of course, we're going to put it in the refrigerator, we're going to be good there, okay? okay. So we want to have dinner on the table in a half hour, okay? So we got 30 minutes, okay? It's 6.03 here, so we're going to do that, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to get a pan out of, the, out of my stove, I just bought new pans, so I like testing them out, okay? I don't have a sponsor, so this is all about me. So what I did was buy a new different set of pans to check them out. I was happy with the, with the first ones, but I wanted a little bit of, I don't know, variety. They were a good price, they were a reasonable product, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, so we're gonna take this, fill this with water, we're going to steam our spaghetti squash. Now we're going to add a little bit of seasoning to it. Okay. A little bit of seasoning. Okay, here's our water right here. Get it squashed in. Wash the outside all the time. Put it on medium high. Cover it. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of salt to it. Okay. Salt here. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Okay. We're going to let that just cook. That's going to take about 20 minutes. Okay? We're going to clean this other one out here. Okay? Clean this one out. So I'm hoping everybody had their fill of turkey. We've got no 25 days left before we got to Christmas. All right, 26 or 27 days, depends on how you look at it. But right now, we are not sick and tired of turkey, but we've had enough of the turkey. I love turkey. Don't get me wrong. But after a while, it can get a little bit overwhelming. Okay. This year is done. We're going to put it in a bag. Okay. All right. Put it in a bag right here. 
I'm going to put that away in a moment after we eat. So you have it, okay? Use this within five days. After five days, it's not going to be bad, but you just want to use up what you can. I have these, do that. Add more of that in the refrigerator. Okay, we got some of our potatoes. Now, potatoes, we're going to roast them. We're not going to roast them because if you've been with me, you're going to know that I don't like putting the oven on unless I need it. I don't need it in this case. I got four potatoes, just four. Not rocket science. One per person, wash them off. Okay? Good. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to cut them. Okay. Into bite sized pieces. So what I'll do is half, half, half. Okay? The seam, cut them the seam, cut them so they're all going to cook together. So basically the same size. Okay. Go here. Okay. Yeah. Put that in one of our cans right here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now, I'm a firm believer in not wasting time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely put enough water in there so it's going to evaporate and then once the potatoes are cooked they will be able to add a little oil to them and it'll start frying them. Okay? So we're gonna do that we get a cover. Make sure we got a cover that fits it. There we go. Good. Okay, good luck. So again in here we washed our potatoes. So we're gonna put them in the pan. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to cut onion. I have some onion over here. Where's my onion? Okay, so I got a little onion in the chicken and in the potato. So we're good here. Okay, again, I'm using one knife. This is my chicken knife. It's not the only one for the chicken, but you don't want to combine your two. Okay, your small kitchen, just utilize what you have. Okay, so. I, as you see, I have a tile over my other sink that doubles my counter space. I don't have a problem. And behind me is a butcher block that we installed uh, over a cabinet. So that's where I put my pots and pans. So when I'm doing big production, I will work over that. Okay, slice. Okay. Here. Okay. Boom. Now. I got fresh basil from the from the garden. I'm gonna put this on medium. The fresh basil that we brought in from the garden yesterday. Okay. Anything you bring from the garden, make sure that you wash it. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice stem, can you nice smell? Okay, I'm gonna rinse them off. I'm gonna toss them in with our uh uh, spaghetti squash, okay? Now watch. I'm going to wash them and I'm going to toss them in. Okay? And then you get basil flavor. <coughs> Don't cut it up. Don't worry about it. Okay? We're going to put one with basil in the, with the chicken. Let's do that. So we're going to cut some, get some basil here. Okay? This is nice basil, fresh from the garden. Okay? So here it is. Okay? Keep it refrigerated. Once you cut it, use it within five days. After five days, it starts getting weepy. It's not a good product. You lose that flavor. As you see, wrap it. You put a little water on the bottom. Wrap it in a paper towel. However you want to do it. Okay? So you will onions. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sear the chicken. Okay? And then we're going to add the chili cherry sauce and the basil to it. But now you're looking at it, you're saying, okay, what's in the chimichurri sauce? Are you reading it? Okay, it's got parsley. Parsley and cilantro, right? Is that going to go with the basil? Probably not. So if you're cooking and you want to change your mind, change your mind. Change your mind. Okay? I'm just trying to give you the options that you have. 
Like I said, we come home, I cook dinner, just like you. Doesn't matter, you change your mind five, six times, you're cooking. Okay? Get your kids involved. Okay, here we go. Okay? Our, there we go. Make sure that's in the bottom here. Okay. Turn it over. So now our beers will be in the water. Okay? I use your cut. Our shrimp hearts are here. I'm going to add a little bit of our seasoning. I have a herb seasoning that I use in the grinder. I love it. It's great. It's not high in sodium. I can adjust the sodium as I need it. Sodium, salt. Okay? I'm trying to get a smart out here. Not really. So I'm here to have fun. So here we are. Okay? We're going to add a little bit of garlic. You want to add garlic to this? I didn't get the garlic out. How, how bad is that? So the wife doesn't like garlic. But I love garlic. But I can't find the garlic she went. Oh, I found it. Oh, this is a slice that. Good. I'm going to use that with chicken. We're going to use a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic. I talked about granulated garlic, not garlic powder. Garlic powder is terrible. Don't waste your money. Okay, garlic powder has absorbs liquid and then it becomes a clump. Granulated garlic is better. Okay. Okay, a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, we've got herbs. You want to do whatever you want. You want to put some turmeric in there for some yellow color? Let's do that. Okay? Be careful. Smell it. If that's the smell that you want, if that's the flavor that you want, you can put it in there. Be gentle. A little goes a long way. Okay? Long way. Okay. Put a cover on it. Let it cook. Purposely going to let this stuff, let the potatoes cook, the water get evaporates, and then we're going to add some butter and oil, and we'll get some flavor out of that. So we're going to pull the butter out. Now, for all of you who say, oh, butter, margarine, okay. You have to make a conscious effort. Butter is, is better, but... It's your choice. If you can't afford it, guess what? It's okay. But no one's going to criticize you for what you can do or what you can't do. I didn't buy, but I used margarine for years, and I cooked for a living. So it's okay. Cook from your heart. Okay? Cook from your heart. Okay. Now, okay, we have our butter here, chili sauce, butter sauce, heart. Okay, garlic. We're going to butcher our chicken now. Okay, so we're going to push everything together over here. You we'll brought chicken over. To save money nowadays, you buy chicken in bulk. Okay? We have how many people? Two of us. Is she going to want leftovers? Like, I don't know about your family, but in my family, leftovers don't go too well. I'll eat them, but not the wife. I've got a package here with four chicken breasts in it, and this weighs about, I'm going to say, 24 ounces, which is a pound that I have. The average person gets six to eight ounces. Eight ounces is a lot. Six ounces is better. It's your choice. But what I'm going to say is we're going to cook this one, and whatever's left over, we'll utilize it. You can always use it for chicken and pasta later on in the week. You can use it for chicken salad. You can do anything you want. But then again, do it safely. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only do one, and I'm going to package the rest up later. Okay? You say later, safely. Now, if you're sitting at home and you're saying, well, what are you? Later is going to be within two hours. Don't let anything sit out more than two hours. They allow four hours in the restaurants, but you want some food sitting out for four hours? I don't. I wouldn't do it here. Okay. Again, you're going to cut it against the grain. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but here. The grain is going this way. This is on the bird like this. Okay? Just like carving the turkey. Lay it down. Carve it against the grain. Now, get a little bit of... 
here. We're going to wash our hands better. But all we want to do is we want to figure out what we're doing with it. You want thick pieces, you want thin pieces. Thin pieces will cook quickly. Large pieces, a little bit longer. This, this is, like I said, six ounces each. So you get four slices out of it, so you get four. Cut it against the grain. Grip the chicken. Okay, four. So next, again, from the top down. You're doing diagonals. Okay, from here all the way to here. So it's here to here, and then continue on all the way. Nice and easy. Trust your, you have to trust yourself. Do not have a dull knife. Invest in a a knife sharpener, or I've got one on the can opener. Use that, or steel. But invest in something that we can use to sharpen your knife. Okay. Right, we're going to close that. So that's going to cook. Okay. This is on medium. That's going to cook. Okay, we're good. For 20 minutes on that. Cut this here. Okay, that's going to be. Okay, and I'm going to cut one more because I just think this one's too big. Okay, now. Knife in the sink. Dirty hands right here. Okay? So, we want a bowl. If I was organized, I would have a bowl already. Oh, thank God for dishwashers. I love this one. Here we go. So, we're going to get it nice. Okay. Good. Yes, it's clean. Okay. Put it right in, in, the, in there. Okay. We're going to, from here on, all we're going to do is wash our hands. Lower this here. Let it cook. Wash our hands. Okay. With everything in there, you wash everything that's potentially dangerous later, all at once. You know what to do. Okay? Take the hand, and we're good. All right. Whoop, whoop. Okay. We're going to do salt. You know, I'm going to use this one here salt, pepper, a little oil. Okay? Oil. And we're going to do the chili chili sauce. Chili chili sauce, salt. Pepper, garlic, parsley, cilantro. Right? Here we go. Fresh parsley, white vinegar, okay, garlic, fresh onions. Okay. Chili chili sauce. No, no cilantro. Okay, so I'm wrong. I'll be wrong. I used to add cilantro to my chili sauce. But no problem. So here we go. I like paprika because it has a color. I'm add a little bit of paprika. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of the tumor, a little bit, okay, because I'm going to have that orangey color instead of a brown color, okay. We're going to add the cherry as it's cooking, okay, so you don't want it to burn. A little bit of oil here, okay, all that's going to do is carry everything. Okay. Go. Okay, now we have two camera angles, by the way. One, one we're going to upload later. So if you missed an angle that I'm doing, or a mistake that you that you saw me do, if you're waiting here, you'll be able to catch it on the second one. This is live, so you're going to see what I'm doing. It's not, there's no smokes and mirrors. Okay, so cooking shows on 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 television. Oh, they're great. Don't get me wrong, but they're not cooking. With everything. This is the house. This is my house. There's no kitchen here. There's no awesome kitchen. This is my kitchen that I love. I, I love this place. Okay. Make it your own. It's what you have. Okay? Okay. So we're going to do that. We got the chicken. Okay? And it's still cooking. You see, I'm not touching it anymore. So all that stuff is safe. Except for what I drop on the, on the counter. Okay. We, we'll, we'll fix that counter later. Don't worry about that. Okay. Get my pan. Nice and hot. Okay. Right. Check this. All right. 
on these fans? Believe it or not, I read the recommendation. Medium. Medium, medium, high, not high. So mine goes from low to high. It's 18 and fifth below high. I've got mine at six. Okay? I want super high. Let it get hot. Let that thing get hot. Don't add oil to it yet. Okay? We're going to test this here. All right. Should be soft. We're getting it, getting it. And there we go. A little background music there. Soon the savage beast. All right, not much of savage beast. So we're going to heat this up a little bit. We'll get some nice color on these potatoes. Okay? So the yellow or the turmeric is definitely going to add some, add some color to it. And when we cook it, when we cook it, we got to watch that it doesn't turn, doesn't burn. Okay? So our pan is heating up. I'm going to put the chicken in the refrigerator right now. If we have a moment, have a few moments here. Put all this in the refrigerator. Okay? Again, all food safety. Safety, safety, safety. Okay? Now, for the friends of mine who, who just subscribed, thank you. This is kind of fun. It's what I do. And it's, well, like I said, there's no filters here. But I swear, I burn myself. You're going to see it live. Uh, there's no retake. You burn dinner, you burn dinner. You call pizza out. Okay? So, you feel it? It's getting hot. Okay? A little bit. How much do I add? Less than a quarter of a cup. Okay? In between an eighth of a cup and a quarter of a cup. About an ounce. Ounce. There's 18 tablespoons to a cup. So let's say that I added one tablespoon of oil. You want the oil to just carry and cover and protect the pan from burning the food. You don't want it to be adding flavor. I'm going to add flavor. I've got truffle oil here. I've got sesame oil here. You cook with that if it becomes too intense. So what we're doing is we're just cooking the chicken here. Now, I can add a little bit of butter to it. Because someone just said, oh, I have butter. No, I didn't. No one said that. I said it. So we add a little bit of butter. Okay? On my clean cutting board. This is a clean cutting board. Yep. See? Work clean, you'll be good. Okay. Our, our, our oil is it's shimmering now. Then we put the butter in there, it, it's starting to bubble, okay? Okay, hot holder. Yes, I have my Christmas pot, Christmas pot holders. Okay, I told you, this is live. No mirrors, there's no smoke. 